guys, Marissa here from Apartment 402, and today I am bringing you an empties video. I have not done one of these since my very first ever YouTube video, so I figured it was about time for me to uh, show you guys what I've been collecting over the past couple months and what stuff I have used up all the way. So, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I've used up all the way is no surprise at all, and this is my big sexy hair dry shampoo. This is my number one favorite dry shampoo on the planet, and when I can find it at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, I always pick up a couple bottles because it's normally like 18 bucks, um, but I think it's totally worth it. It is the best dry shampoo that I've used. It really, truly does keep my hair looking, you know, clean between washes since I only do wash my hair, you know every three or four days. So, um, love this stuff. I'll definitely be repurchasing and I always get sad when I run out of it. Okay, so the next thing is my favorite ever hairspray, which is my L'Oreal L'Oreal Paris Studio Line Mega Hold Hairspray. I had this stuff for like literally a year and a half. Um, it lasted so long, it smells so good, and it is literally the best hairspray to hold any kind of hairstyle from like a, just like an easy hairstyle like this, which just, you know, I just need a little bit of hold to keep the curl in, to like super curly, like waved out hairstyles. I love this stuff. It's awesome. I have a really hard time finding it though. Um, I just have to kind of look at the right hair salon or I'm um, like beauty product store because they don't have it at like Rite Aid and CVS and stuff. But next time I find it, I'm going to be buying two bottles of this because I love it just so, so much. Next thing is my Oil of Olay Fresh Effects Makeup Remover Wipes. They're called the Swipe Out Refreshing Makeup Removal Cloths, actually. Um, and despite the glare, they are there. Um, you get 20 of these in a pack, and they're like $4, $4 or $5. So I, I finished all of them just because I had all of them. Um, but I don't think I'm going to be repurchasing them. I think 20 is like really, really small amounts. I go through makeup wipes like two or three a day. So it's just really not, you know, financially it doesn't make sense for me to be buying that many makeup wipes. And um, when they were just like kind of average. The CVS brand wipes I like a lot better. Those are the ones I use every day. And um, so they're way cheaper than that too. And you get way more. So there's that. Um, okay. Next empty is, oh, I love this one. So this is my Kate Spade Twirl Body Lotion. Typically I do not like body lotions that come with perfumes. I think that they're overly fragrant. I think like I, it makes me nauseous to smell usually, but I love the smell of Kate Spade Twirl, and I really, really like this body lotion because it was really hydrating. It wasn't just a good smelling lotion. It was a great lotion just in general, and I was really sad when I ran out of it. But um, if I find it at CV, uh, or sorry, TJ Maxx or Marshalls, I'll pick up another bottle of it for sure. Um, I'm probably not going to be repurchasing like the perfume or anything, but I did like the lotion, so I really enjoyed this one. If you like fragrance lotions, this is probably a higher-end fra fragrance lotion. This is an awesome one. Next thing is my MAC brush cleanser. This is my favorite brush cleanser ever, but in defense of all other brush cleansers out there, this is the only one I've ever used. So I really, really like it. It works really well. It's like 15 bucks at MAC. Um, there's still a little bit left in there even. Um, so I'll definitely be repurchasing it. I don't really, I don't know. A brush cleanser is a brush cleanser. If I'm not using this, I use dishwashing soap. Um, it does get my brushes cleaner than like regular soap does, obviously. And it's, um, I feel like it's not as heavy and doesn't like create any buildup on my brushes. But I've never tried anything else. Um, if you guys have any recommendations for other ones you like more than this, please leave them in the bottom bar below. You know I love trying new stuff. But for now, I'm sticking to my Old Faithful um, MAC brush cleanser. I really, really enjoy it. Oops. Mm. Okay, so the next thing is my L'Oreal Paris Total Repair 5 Multi-Restorative multi Oil. This is in my first empties video. This will probably be in every empties video forever. This stuff is awesome. Um... It's just a dry oil that repairs and makes your hair really, really shiny. So I use this kind of after, if I'm not using my It's a 10, I'll use this when my hair is wet. But when I have It's a 10, I don't really need this because it's just, that's like too much product in my hair. Um, so usually I'll use this between washes to keep my hair looking really shiny and to just spritz it on my ends to keep them healthy and making sure that they're not breaking off too badly between washes. So I really, really like this stuff. I'll always repurchase it. Um, it's the perfect formula for my long straight hair and um, it doesn't build up anything on my hair which I really really like so I love this stuff. Next empty is my Oil of LA Fresh Effects Shine Shine Go Away Shine Minimizing Cleanser. So I don't have oily skin but I did use this entire cleanser. I liked using it with my Clarisonic. It really got my skin nice and clean. 
but um, it did dry out my skin a little bit. It's a little bit harsh for me because I don't have oily skin. And I have this need, and I feel like I always want to buy oily skin products, but I don't have oily skin at all. My skin actually skews dry more than anything else, so I don't know why I do this. I'm not going to be repurchasing this to say, like, obviously I'm not going to be repurchasing it because it's just not for me. But if you have oily skin, it works really nicely. I know my mom likes it. So, um, yeah, that's this. It's empty. Bye. <sighs> Next thing. Oh, that makes me so happy. This is my NARS Casino Bronzer. I go through this stuff like nothing. So it is completely empty. Yay. Um, this is a nice dark bronzer. It's the shade darker than the, the very popular Laguna bronzer from NARS. Um, I love this, love this, love this in the summer when my skin is tan because I am half white, half Hispanic. So my skin does get very, very dark in the summertime, even though it is very fair right now. Um, I do get pretty dark. So I love, love this stuff. And I'll actually use this for contouring like all year long. I like Casino better than Laguna because it has a lot more red and bronze in it. And it makes you, I feel like it gives you a little bit more of a glow than the Laguna one does, which is like a true brown. Um, but I love this bronzer when I run out of some of the other, um, Rihanna bronzers I have from MAC, I'll definitely be repurchasing this one because it's just, it's better than MAC bronzers. Like, NARS bronzer is the best, in my opinion. Okay, so that's not empty. Bye! Next thing I have is my MAC Fix Plus Spray. <laughs> and I've been saving this one for a long time, and it's kind of funny because I just got a MAC Fix Plus Spray in one of my recent hauls, and I thought for the longest time that MAC had a Fix Spray, which was for setting your makeup, and the Fix Plus Spray, which was for spraying onto a brush and applying your um, eyeshadow wet so it's more pigmented. No, they just have Fix Plus. And I've been using it for years and I had no idea. So Fix Plus is the spray for me, apparently. Um, I have not used Urban Decay All Nighter yet. I heard that it is comparable to the All Nighter Spray. I will definitely try the All Nighter Spray before I stick to this for life. But so far, so good. I love it. I mean, I have a mini one that I'm using every day. So, yeah, definitely going to be repurchasing it. Because it's already been repurchased like 18 times. I had no idea. Wow. Next thing is also another MAC item. It is my MAC strobe cream. And I think that this and my Fix Plus spray were both in my first empties. As well as the L'Oreal dry oil spray. I think I have a tendency to go back to the same things. What do you guys think? Um, but yeah, MAC strobe cream is basically an illuminating cream. I used this for probably like three years until I found another empties here. The Clarins Beauty Flash Balm. So these are both illuminating moisturizers. This one's 30 bucks. This one's 45 bucks. I love, 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 love this one. If I had never discovered this one, I probably would still be purchasing it. But I really like how amazingly hydrating this, the Clarins one is. Um, this is just great. To, both of them are great to use before makeup. This is just super, super hydrating on your skin. It really is hydrating, and I think it really helps prevent any... Um, blemishes on your skin as well. So both of them are great if you want a cheaper option. There's this, there's the MAC one. If you want something that's like really high quality and also going to be very hydrating for you, um, I would go with the Clarins one. But both of them are absolutely fantastic. Love them. And I will be repurchasing the Clarins over and over. The next thing is the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Mascara. I love this mascara. I already repurchased another one of it that I'm almost out of again. But this mascara is just my favorite drugstore easy everyday mascara. This one was in, I can't even read. Ugh, my eyes are bad. I can't even read what color this is. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure this is probably the, the black color. Um, I love this mascara. It's just really easy and simple. If you're looking for a cheap, easy mascara to use, I love it. So Maybelline Colossal Volume Express. Just the regular one, the very first one that they brought out. Okay, the next thing in here is this amazing Pola Cleansing Cream. Um, so Pola is a Korean skincare line that's actually discontinued. This is their Agliara skin, um, cleansing cream. And basically what a cleansing cream does is you can take off all your makeup with your makeup wipes and then you apply this onto your face like a lotion and it's going to bring up all of the dirt that's deep underneath your skin and in your pores. It's going to bring it all up to the surface and then you can just take a, like a tissue or a cotton ball and wipe it all off and you will be amazed at how much dirt this stuff can remove from your face that you, think, that you thought that you already removed with your makeup cleansing wipe. So you were wrong. There's still more dirt in there and this stuff will definitely get it out. So I'm sad that this line is discontinued. Next time I go to Koreatown, I'm going to look for another Korean cleansing cream like this one because I really think this helped clear up my face and I think it really helps to keep my face 
and anybody's face super duper clean, which is what's the most important thing, especially when you're putting on makeup every single day. So this stuff is really awesome. I love it. And we'll repurchase it in another form. The last empty I have today is my L'Oreal Paris Carbon Black Liner Intense. And I absolutely adore this eyeliner. I used it forever. It lasted me so long before it dried out. Um, it's really, really similar. I would say it's almost a dupe for the Stila 24-hour waterproof eyeliner, um, but it's probably not as long-lasting as the Stila one, but I love this stuff. I had it for so long. This It has a nice, beautiful, um, as I was showing you, a felt tip applicator, which, oh, look, there's still some in there. <laughs> Um, and it makes it just really easy to draw on a nice cat eye eyeliner. I absolutely love it. I will need to use the Stila one a little bit more before I can decide if this is the dupe. But if I think that they're the same, I'll probably repurchase this one because it's about $10 cheaper than the Stila one. So um, I really like this eyeliner. If you're looking for a great, great um, liquid, easy to apply eyeliner from the drugstore, I would go with the L'Oreal Liner Intense in Coral Black. And that is that, my friends. That's all my empties. So thank you so much for watching. If you want to see another empties video or you want to see them more regularly, I'm happy to do them. Just let me know in the comments bar below. If you have any questions about any of the products that I showed here, please feel free to ask. Otherwise, I will see you again next time. Bye, guys.